if it's full price, I don't want it. Dog walking chic. It is making me feel a little bit Tory though, I can't lie. Got a pair of chunky cream boots. Hands date night outfit. At least we didn't have any more sausage scenes. Imagine me with my granny knickers trying to pull my vinyl leggings out. Blimey. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we have the first haul of 2021. It feels like a really long time since I've done a haul. That is because I just haven't really walked clothes for myself for a really long time. Um, but this year that is going to change. Well kind of, not really. I'm not going mad. But I did say in a recent video that this year I want to focus on my style again a bit more. I feel like I lost myself a bit in 2020. I spent all day every day in joggers. I mean, who did? But this year I want to feel a bit more confident in myself. So that starts with a wardrobe change I am going to go through my current wardrobe get rid of a load of stuff Donate it give it to friends or chuck it if it's really old So if you'd like me to film another wardrobe declutter, let me know and I'll be sure to do that So January sales is where we're at pretty much everything I've bought in this haul was on sale Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it your girl loves to keep her money as much as she can So hopefully everything's still on sale by the time you're watching this video I I will tell you what I paid for all of the items. Um, I can't guarantee that all the prices will be the same. They might be cheaper. They might have gone back to full price. But I'll link all the items in the description down below just in case. So without further ado, if you like a clothing haul or if you're into this neutrals, beigey, brown tone trend, give this video a big thumbs up because this is going to be the one for you. Coming up in this haul, we have Boohoo, eBay, ASOS, Misguided, Zara, Miss Pap. I saw it first and pretty little thing. Let's go. Here's my plan, right? I am the kind of person who will buy individual pieces of clothing because I like it on the website and I think like for example that's a lovely sweatshirt but then it arrives and I've got nothing to wear it with so I have a lot of clothes but I don't have a lot of outfits. Everything I've bought here is kind of like my basic the foundations of my future outfits and then I can just buy pieces to add to these outfits and tweak them. What I'm gonna do is take pictures of a few of these outfits I've put together and I'm gonna post more fashion content over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go and follow me. I hope you like the fashion pics. It's gonna be kind of like my fashion diary to look back on when I've got no idea what to wear. I'm gonna do this haul a little bit differently. So first of all, I'm gonna show you everything I bought, where I got it from and how much it was. And then in the second half of this video, I'm going to put outfits together and I'll show you what they look like on. So, hope that all makes sense. Very long-winded intro. Let's get into it and we're going to start with Boohoo. The first item I picked up, I feel I'm going to wear these so much. I've got this pair of cream leather look leggings. I think this colour is going to be so versatile. Chunky knit jumpers or dressing it up in the evening. I can wear them with trainers or heels. They've got an elasticated waistband. I really like this colour as well. Something I've found is that beige is quite hard to get right. I ordered a few items and they were just not the right colour. They didn't look the same on the website. But these are a really nice colour in person and on the website. And they were £11.20. I got these in a size 10. They're not very stretchy on the leg, but they are elasticated at the waist. But I think a size 8, I don't know if I'd be able to get my legs into them. I think it would be like trying to put sausage meat into sausage skin. <laughs> the next item is one of my favourites in this haul. And I think this might be the most expensive item in this haul. So this is a cream gilet. What I loved about this is the tie waist. It's elasticated so you can pull it tighter. Makes it so flattering. This was £38 in the sale. It's obviously got the zip. It's got a little pop up at the top as well. So you can wear it like a high neck if you want to. But to be honest, I would probably pair this with either black skin skinny jeans or those cream leggings and maybe like a white hoodie underneath. I wear it quite cash out for lunch or something. Hopefully when the weather gets a bit warmer and I don't need a massively thick coat, this will be really lovely and I think I'll wear it a lot. Next up, for a lot of these outfits, I'm planning on making a casual version and a going out version. So swapping trainers for heels, puffy jackets for blazers, things like that. I really wanna try and get my money's worth out of all this stuff. So the next thing I've got is a pair of heels and I don't mean to alarm anyone, but these are my favorite pair of heels I've ever bought in my life. So these are black strappy heels. As you can see, they are a block heel because this gal is literally Bambi on ice. I cannot walk in heels for the life of me. I have to wear a block heel. If it's a thin heel, absolutely not. My ankle's gonna be broken by the end 
of the night. But I really liked these ones because when they're on, they look like they've got a thin heel until you turn to the side and you're like, whoa. <laughs> but from the front, they look really elegant. I wear a size five and these were 15 pounds. Absolute bargain. They're a lovely suede material as well. So they're not like this plasticky rubber that's gonna rub your feet. This next thing I'm gonna need your opinions on because I'm not sure about this. It is a very long cream coat. Do you know what? In theory, lovely. I just don't know if it looks right on me. This was 30 pounds and this is in the color stone. I think they do it in a couple of colors. It's a lot longer than I usually would go for in a coat. It's a bit out of my comfort zone, but I think for like early spring or autumn, this can look really lovely with an outfit with a chunky jumper underneath, even the cream leggings. I'd put all cream together. Next up, eBay, 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 eBay. Yeah. Don't underestimate the power of clothing on eBay, I'm telling you. I picked up this lovely sand colored hoodie on eBay. This is a Gildan heavy blend. I got it in a size large to make it oversized and this is in the color sand. And I thought this with the gilet looked lovely or this with some black jeans or black leggings might be coming up next and it was a tenner absolute bargain. Moving on to ASOS. I've got a few bits from ASOS. So the first thing, I think I'm going to wear these so much. Like I said, I want all of these outfits to be able to wear them with either trainers or heels. So from ASOS, I picked up a pair of plain white slip-on vans. Cannot go wrong with these. They're going to match every single outfit because there's no colour on them whatsoever. There's not even any laces. And I got these on sale for, how much did I pay? £41.60. My hair has a bit of a mind of its own today, so please excuse if it looks horrific. But but anyway, the next thing that I got from ASOS, I think this is such a lovely top. This is the perfect top for going out for a nice lunch or going out for dinner with your family or like your boyfriend's family, something like that. It's just easy to wear and I think it looks very classy without having to make an effort. It looks like this, again, it's cream. I promise there are items coming up that aren't cream, but it's got this lovely sweetheart neckline. It looks so nice on. It's a really thick material as well, it feels lovely quality. It's got these ruched puffed sleeves. I just really 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 like this I think it looks beautiful and how much did I pay for this this was okay this one wasn't on sale um this one was 25 pounds but it definitely feels worth 25 pounds and that's coming from the girl who does not like to spend more than a tenner on the top but I'm really pleased with this it feels lovely quality and I've got a very good item to pair this with oh it's me mum Hello? Sorry about that, loves. Next up, this pair of leggings is going to divide you. I know, like the Dead Sea, whatever that story is in the Bible, not religious myself. I picked up a pair of vinyl leggings. I know these are not gonna be to everyone's taste. To be honest, they're not even particularly to my taste. However, I've seen people on Instagram pair these with like a big chunky roll neck jumper that's long with a belt and it really, really tones them down. They are a bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm looking forward to styling them. And these were on sale down from 20 pounds to 11 pounds. So I thought what better time to try a vinyl legging. But I would say if you're between two sizes, size up with this one because I'm usually between an eight and a 10. And first of all, I ordered the eights because I thought leggings, stretchy absolutely not could not get them past my knees there's no stretching them at all don't be fooled by the elasticated waistband i've not actually tried the tens on yet but fingers crossed they're gonna fit but oh my christ i wish you could have seen me trying the eights on it was not a pretty sight imagine me with my granny knickers trying to pull my vinyl leggings up blimey the next thing i got makes me seem a very sophisticated lady this item also wasn't on sale and um, there's only a few full price don't worry you can take the girl out of essex but you can't take the essex out of the girl if it's full price i don't want it so it's a little blouse random i know not worn a shirt since school but i really like the puffy balloon sleeves and they're elasticated at the end and you know how everyone is wearing those granddad vests at the minute with a v-neck with a shirt underneath that's why i bought this because I've got a couple of those vests coming up. I would never wear this on its own, but with one of those vests over it, I think this particular style of shirt is gonna look really lovely. I've got a couple of randoms here, but I'm gonna do this next because they're on the top. I've got a couple of new belts from ASOS. So the first one is this big black chunky belt with this big gold buckle. This was an absolute bargain. So this was down from 12 pounds to seven pounds 20. And to be honest, I just don't have any statement belts and I was really after one. I think if I'm wearing a big 
chunky jumper or something like that, like a jumper dress. This around it with some over the knee boots would look spiffing. I haven't got any over the knee boots, maybe I need to invest. But yeah, for seven pounds, I thought that's gonna be really handy in my wardrobe. Then I got one more belt, which was also an absolute bargain. And this one is cream, which is why I picked this out. And this one was down from 10 pounds to five pounds 50. This one's got like a bit of a snake print on it. Didn't realize it had that until it arrived, to be honest. The next thing I picked out, this is very in my comfort zone. I couldn't resist, but this is the bargain of the century. So this is a high neck jumper. Isn't that just so me? Literally, I love the color. I love how soft it is. I love the style. And it's got these really beautiful puffy sleeves. And this was 25 pounds, but I paid £13.75. It feels really lovely quality as well. I'm so chuffed with this. I think with a pair of simple black skinny jeans, you just can't go wrong. Or with the black vinyl leggings. Or instead of the black vinyl leggings with that, I picked up this really nice pair of leggings. They're from ASOS own brand and these are also leather look leggings, but they've got this pin tuck down the front so it makes them look a bit posher. A pin tuck is basically like a seam down the front, I think. Juicy Textiles letting me down there. But again, elasticated waist and these ones feel more strong stretchy than the others. These ones feel like they're going to be the most comfortable out of all the leggings I've shown so far. And just in case you're wondering, all the level up leggings that I've shown are soft on the inside. It's not like the same material on the outside as the inside. That'd be very uncomfortable. But these ones were £22 down to £16.50. And I liked them so much that I bought them in another colour. But these ones weren't reduced. These ones were £22. Are these described as brown? They are. So on the website it says they're brown. I would say they're more of a burgundy they're like a reddish brown kind of but exactly the same we've got the pin tuck down the front and i think i'm gonna wear these ones just as much as the black ones with my big oversized beige jumpers next up i got another one of the sweetheart neckline jumpers this time in again this kind of like actually no this one's not really a reddish brown this is more of a chocolate brown but this one was on sale so this was down from 25 pounds to 22 i actually bought this one after i bought the first one because i tried the first one on and i loved it so much that i was like I need that in another colour. And the last thing that I got from ASOS, let me find the price. I'm actually impressing myself remembering to tell you the prices of these things, guys. This on the website looks really different to how it does in real life, and I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep this one. I'll decide once I've tried it on. But basically, it's this big V-neck jumper. It feels really lovely quality. I love everything about it, other than the colour's very different to how it was on the website. On the website, it is cream, and it looks like an off-white. In person, this is kind of pink. It's like a very light blush pink. My mum really loves the colour. She said she actually prefers it to the one on the website, but not sure pink is really what I was going for. I think with those black pin tuck leggings and this, it's quite long as well, so it's quite oversized. They would look really nice together, so we'll see when I try it on. Next up, we have Misguided. I only bought one thing from Misguided. There wasn't really a lot on there that was floating my boat. A lot of it at the minute is too cool for me, <laughs> but there was one item that I spotted. So to go with the white blouse with the puffy balloon sleeves, I got this V-neck vest. Can't remember if this was on sale or not, but I paid 23 pounds for this. Moving on to Zara. This was actually, I think, my first ever Zara online order. I bought in store before from Zara. I feel like in store it's very hit and miss. Sometimes it's really expensive, sometimes it's really affordable. Sometimes the stuff is lovely, sometimes the stuff is disgusting. Does anyone else feel the same about Zara? It's quite hard to find the gems, but in the Zara sale, whew, I have found my favourite item in this entire haul. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen these on my Instagram story, but got a pair of chunky cream boots. Do you know how hard it is for a girl to find a pair of cream boots? And then I found these ones from Zara, but they were 70 pounds. And I thought a pair of cream boots, how often am I gonna wear them? But then I checked the Zara website again when I was about to place my order. And they were down to 29.99. Can you believe it? And they had all the sizes as well. When I clicked on it, I thought this is too good to be true. There's gonna be like size nine and 10 left and that's it. No, there was every size. I am usually a size five and a half and I ordered the size fives first of all could not get my foot into them. And then I tried the six and they fit like a glove. Oh my God, the dog just made me jump. <laughs> she just poked her head around the door frame like, hello. Next up, okay, this is the bargain of the haul. This is the best one, I think. So I've got a little dress from Zara. I've not tried it on yet, so I'm not sure how it's gonna fit, but it's a high neck midi dress. It's got a split up the side. I thought this would look really lovely with the black belt around it, maybe. Guess how much this was, guys? 5 dollars 
for a midi dress. Are you mad? I really like it and I'm hoping it's gonna fit me really well. I got it in a size small and I'm now doubting myself that I should have gone for a medium, but we'll try. For $5.99, I will make it fit. Then I picked up a couple of halter neck bodysuits. These are such a staple. I feel like every girl needs these in her wardrobe. I've got these in black and white. I did have a brown one, but my mum burnt it with the iron. It was absolutely gutted. But then I found these ones in the sale and I'm happy again. So the first color I got is this khaki green. This was $5.99. I think they're usually about $12.99. This with the cream leggings. Lovely. And I also got exactly the same bodysuit in this dark red. Then I got this top, which I'm regretting a bit. I don't know why I picked this out. Oh, because it was only $3.99, that's why. But it's a little black crop top. It's just got these really thin spaghetti straps. It's very simple. It's just a square neckline. I don't actually know why I've got it, to be honest. I don't know what happened there, really. Just fell in my basket. I got another t-shirt for $3.99, and this one I actually really like. So it's a plain white t-shirt but it's got these puff sleeves, kind of like the blouse that I showed you earlier. This would be really lovely if you're a dungaree kind of gal. This would be really cute under a pair of dungarees. Personally, dungarees make me look like a painter. They don't suit me at all. This next item, I really hope this fits me. This is the most beautiful bodysuit. So again, it's a halter neck and it's this like draped material. It ties up behind the neck. It's got a zip down the side as well. This was $7.99, full price. $25.99. And the final thing I got from Zara are a pair of wide leg trousers. So these are just a pair of brown elasticated waist wide leg trousers. They're very, very thin. They're not see-through though. They're just very floaty, very comfy. And these were $5.99. Woo! We're getting there guys. We're nearly done. So moving on to Miss Pap. I've got one item from Miss Pap. I'm not usually a skirt kind of person, but I really like this one. So this is a faux leather pleated cream skirt. And this is the item that I bought to go with the sweetheart neckline tops from ASOS. A girl I follow on Instagram called Georgia actually put this outfit together and it looked so lovely on her that I just recreated the whole outfit and bought both of them. I got it in a size 8 which fits me perfectly and it was £15. Next up I'm going to do Pretty Little Thing. I got a bodysuit which is kind of similar to the Zara halter neck bodysuits but this one is brown and it's a high neck. It's this like slinky scuba kind of material and this was £12. Then I got a little plain black crop top easy for the summer and this was £8. I got a brown spaghetti strap bodysuit but again it's this scuba material it's elasticated at the back and it was £10. Then very similar to the Zara bodysuits, I got this brown crop top. It's the same neckline as the Zara bodysuits, which I love. The brown Zara bodysuit is what my mum burnt, and this is the closest thing I could find to it, because Zara have stopped selling it now. So sad. But this was £12, and I know I'm going to wear it a lot, because I wore my bodysuit all the time. RIP. And the last thing I got from Pretty Little Thing, I'm not sure why I bought this, because I bought the V-neck tunic from Misguided, but I got this beige one. This isn't cable knit, it's just like a knitted sleeveless v-neck but i think i prefer this one to the misguided i don't know let me know what you think and this was 18 pounds and then the last place i bought a couple of items from is i saw it first wow i bought a lot of stuff i'm only just realizing the first thing is a pair of brown joggers because i thought for all the oatmeal sand neutral shade tops whatever you want to call it um, this pair of joggers would look really nice with them or with the khaki bodysuit and this pair of joggers was £8 and the last thing that I got in this haul is another roll neck jumper um, this is actually one of my favourite jumpers that I picked out. It feels really nice quality. I know it's going to fit me really well and I think it's a really easy colour to wear. It looks lovely on any skin tone. It doesn't feel the softest. It's not as soft as the ones I got from ASOS, was it? But it does still feel nice and it was £15. I love a balloon sleeve so much. Blimey, I've actually got a bit of a sore throat where I've just spoken at you so much. I do apologise. Anyway, I'm now going to go and put some outfits together and let's see what it all looks like on. I hate trying clothes on so much, so I'm not going to enjoy this i hope you do outfit number one i call this dog walking chic <laughs> it's such a comfy outfit these leggings i love them they are quite noisy listen okay they're not making any noise now but they're a little bit squeaky they take a bit of getting used to i feel like i could have done with an eight around the top part this area looks quite a bagage but to be honest i think the eights would have been too small everywhere else so i'm happy with the 10 they're a really nice length and i like that the bottom of them don't flare out got my white vans on not practical for a dog walk they are definitely too white at the minute as well and this gilet absolutely love it as you can see it's super flattering i really like these colors all together for a pub lunch or something i feel like this will be the perfect outfit and i love me a pub lunch right this next outfit the blouse needs ironing 
so bad that it's actually hurting my heart a little bit. So please ignore that. Ignore the fact that the shirt needs a good old press. Love the big puffy sleeves. They're quite different for me. It is making me feel a little bit Tory though, I can't lie. But... Work, work, fashion, baby. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to say this is the V-neck from Misguided, and I'm now going to swap to the one from Pretty Little Thing. So, in three, two, one, ta-da! Let me know which one you guys prefer in the comments down below. I actually think I way prefer this one in person. To be honest, this one feels nicer quality than the misguided one. And I actually quite like that it's a bit darker than the leggings. And also, I've just got my white vans on with this. But you could easily put some nude heels on and really dress this up. Happy to announce that the 599 Zara dress is an absolute steal. And I've put the ASOS belt on with it and I really like it. I don't think black is perfect with it, but I like the way the belt looks with it. I think this with a leather jacket and a pair of chunky black boots like Doc Martens would be such a cute little outfit. I also feel very like business in this. Next up we have the faux leather pleated skirt and the ASOS sweetheart neckline. I love this top so much. I think it would look so nice with black skinny jeans. This skirt is very out of my comfort zone just because I don't really wear skirts. And then this is what the outfit looks like with the top in the other colour. I don't know which one I prefer. I thought I preferred the first but now I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Whew. Right, khaki bodysuit, obviously a hit. It's a staple from Zara. The vinyl leggings, oh my goodness, I was gonna say, at least we didn't have any more sausage scenes, but we did. This is the first time I've tried on the 10 and still it was a struggle. I think I might have to return these for a 12. The thing is they look like they fit really nicely. They just feel really like strange around my bum. I haven't got a bum, that's not an opinion, it's a scientific fact, I just don't have one. But I could not get these over my bum for the life of me. But I do think they look really nice, so I'm undecided. I like them, but just beware if you're going to order them, definitely size up. At least one size. <laughs> this is my outfit of dreams, my outfit of dreams, my outfit of dreams. So guys, first of all, we have the jumper from I Saw It First. So cosy. Little bit itchy, needs a wash, not going to lie. The trousers, I've figured out what the issue is. I am going to order them in a 12 because they're so tight around my thighs, which is how they're meant to be, but they're a bit too tight that they won't go up all the way. So I'm left with a bit of a baggy crotch. I just think if I've got a bigger size, it's gonna be bigger around the leg, it's gonna be able to go up more, and it's gonna fit me better everywhere else. At least we can hope. And then the shoes, these chunky boots, they are a big yes from me. I love them so much. They're really comfortable as well. Love the black elasticated detail with the black trousers and the cream matches the jumper perfectly. So, and it'd be so easy to interchange this outfit. So like change these trousers for plain jeans if you'd prefer or change the top for something a bit more dressy or change the chunky boots for heels and you can mix and match it all. We now have a little wet puppy back from her walk. <laughs> are you joining me to show the clothes? Right guys, so this is the more comfy version of the last outfit don't mind the dog having a scratch she ain't got fleas are you part of the outfit yeah right so these are the joggers with the same jumper super comfy i would wear this out the house with no shame you are a diva baggy trousers baggy trousers <laughs> i love a baggy trouser me so this is the jumper from ebay and these army wired leg trousers from zara i was gonna say i wouldn't wear them together but i would to be perfectly honest with you for cozy days at home i 100 percent would be living in this outfit this next outfit is very teenage han and um, this crop top is too cropped for my liking right now maybe in the summer i'll prefer it but i would not wear this this time of year but these leggings are such a win because, right, hear me out, they look quite fancy. If I saw someone wearing these, I'd be like, they look fab, but they're not comfortable. Wrong. They literally feel like you're just wearing leggings. They're so comfy. I've got these in a size 10. They're definitely the comfiest leggings I've tried on so far. I would highly recommend. I love them. I really, really like these. But I do have to say, both the brown bodysuits that I've got from Pretty Little Thing Neither of them fit me right. The v-neck one is too low and the turtleneck one will not go over me noggin. <laughs> I felt like I was being born again. <laughs> right, here's the coat that I'm undecided about. This is probably one of the ways I would style it. I've got the roll neck jumper on and these same leggings. I'm just so... I don't know why I'm so undecided about this coat. I just am not sure. So please let me know what you think in the comments down below. You know those TikToks where it's like, how I think I look waiting in line at the supermarket and then it cuts to them like this. 
I feel like that would be me in the sky. <laughs> like it wouldn't look in person how I think it would in my head. Yeah, I'm open to your opinions on this one, guys. This is what I call hands date night outfit. I am so glad this bodysuit fits me. It was quite a low V, but because you tie it up behind your neck, you can kind of adjust it to where you want it. I think it looks nice with these black leggings as well. These are super comfortable. If I was going out for a meal on a date, these are a really good option because you can fit a lot of food in here. And these are what the heels look like. I'm not going to show you a close-up of the heels because I only have my big toenails painted. Absolutely disgusting. Sorry the lighting has changed so much. It's because the sun's gone down. Um, but moving on. This is one of my new favourite jumpers. It is so soft. The sleeves are lovely and long. It feels really, really nice quality. I can't believe this was like £13. And the way I would style this, hang on, give me two seconds. There we go. Looks a bit more put together now. So I've paired it with this jacket, which is a very similar colour to the top. This jacket I got a while ago from Pretty Little Thing. I will try and link it in the description down below. Got my black bag. This is from the Couples. Faux leather leggings with the pin tuck. Super comfy. And my white vans but I would probably actually wear black vans with this. In a rather sudden turn of events, I actually really like this jumper. The one that was cream on the website, or oatmeal, whatever it was called, it's actually blush pink. Um... I really like it. It's a very like slouchy style jumper. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favourite item or your favourite outfit. I would love to know. Do subscribe to see my future videos. I upload weekly vlogs every Sunday morning and a few other videos here and there throughout the week. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.